Good morning, everyone. Let us continue to have an open heart this morning as we listen to the Word of God. Let's begin to fix our minds and our hearts on Jesus this morning. Thank you, Lord. Give you praise. Give you praise. Give you praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. We welcome you, Lord. Not that God is not here, but we just want to honor Him by saying we welcome Him, which means we want to open up ourselves to Him, open up our minds, open up our hearts to Him, and allow Him to do a work in us. Allow Him to speak over us. This is so uh, very important. It's a posture that we need to always maintain. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, we worship you, we honor you in this place. Lord, thank you, God. We open up ourselves to you, we open up our hearts to you and allow you to do a work in us. In Jesus' name. How is everyone? Good? We are coming to the end of the first month. <laughs> the previous year ended, so I promised that I will be back. So I'm here again. You're seeing me speaking again this year. So one thing that I forgot to do the last year was to thank God for all of you here. So this morning, I'll take the opportunity to thank all of you for being here, still faithfully coming here. Your presence here is very much appreciated. It's good to see all of you again here. Thank God for those that have risen up to serve the Lord to give their service to the Lord, have taken the step, the boldness to step out and to step up. Thank you, Jesus. So this morning, I want to speak on something that may be very familiar to all of us may be a very common topic or message. It is about life. What is life? What is life all about? These are the questions that you may often hear or you may even have think, thought about it. Life. What is life? Because this question has everything to do with our life, how we live, how we should and ought to live. A question about life. Life is a person. Life came from the source of life. Life is God. So I want to talk to you about the glory of this life and to bring your attention and awareness to this life which originates from God. The God who created all things. 
So when I'm actually talking about life, I'm speaking very much about God Himself. For life is connected to God. So life in Greek is zoe, meaning the God kind of life. The life which means the very nature of God. The eternal, the ever-living, the everlasting life. The fullness of life. This is actually what it means in Greek, Zoe. The book of John in the Bible speaks very much about this life, about the love of God. As you know, John is the apostle of love, the one who is known to lean very much to the heart, the bosom of Jesus, who hears his heart, who knows his heart, who trusts his heart, who leans on to Jesus. This is who John is known to be. The one who is very close to the heart of God that knows very much about the life, about the love of God. Life is very, very much connected to love. For God is love. A very popular verse for all of us here, John 3.16 For God so, I'm using this uh, amplified version here because this uh, version explains a little bit more. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that He even gave His one and only begotten Son so that whoever believes and trusts in Him as Savior shall not perish but have eternal life. God is love. He gave Himself for us so that we can have this God kind of life. Today, why I'm actually speaking this, because I also received this while I sleep a few days back. I've actually kind of received this very much earlier, but God came to me in the dream the past thing three three days ago, telling me about life, showing me life. So this morning I'm going to share to you all about life, this life that we can live in, and we ought to live in. It may be a very familiar topic. You know, even to our minds, sometimes it goes right into our ears, but it does not deposit right into our hearts. Sometimes it can be so familiar over and over being preached that you think you already have it all, you know it. But I want you to be in this posture of receiving it afresh again. God is life. 
is not only life, he is also light. Let's have another verse, John 1, chapter 1, verse 4. In him was life. You see, I'm using amplified version again because it speaks more to life. In him was life and the power to bestow life and the life was the light of men. God himself is life and he has the power to give life. And that life was the light of all men. It is light to us. We became light. We have been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. This is what God has called us out from. From darkness to light. This is the life of God. So life is very much connected to the love of God. It's very much connected also to the light of God. It brings light into every situation that you may be facing. If you're in darkness, there is a light that shines. There is a life of God that's being in process. The life of God is an ever-living water. It is in operation. Whether you know it or not, it is in operation. This is what the life of God is about. It's not an evangelistic message. It may sound very evangelistic. But I think all of us would need to hear it again, sometimes over and over, till something happens very deep inside your heart. God became the ransom for all of us. No ransom. When you see a movie on someone being kidnapped, being threatened with death, if you do not pay a ransom, you need to pay in order to be released from the threat of death. This is what Jesus has become for us. He's become a ransom, so you do not need to die. There is life. And God paid with His own life so that we can have His life, the God kind of life that God promised to all of us sitting here today. What it means to have the God kind of life is the life with the very divine nature of God. You see, how much we know it, it depends on how much you conceive and receive it in your spirit. You may hear this message being preached many times, but sometimes it only comes into our ears, into our minds, but it does not rest in the soil of our hearts. And when we are faced with situations, when we are faced with circumstances, and when the rubber hits the road, you will know what and how much you have understood a certain thing. So God Himself has become a ransom for us. He paid with His blood, the precious blood of Jesus, the song that we like to sing. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of 
Jesus. This is the precious blood. With every drop of His blood, is meant to be an offering for all of us. He's become the offering for us. Life is in His blood. The blood that cleanses and washes us and made us righteous so that we can be in union with God. That is the whole intention of God. To purchase you back to Him. To bring you back to Himself who is the maker of everything. In Him, all things were made. Nothing was made that was made. In Him was life. And life was the light of every man. So every man receives this light when we open up ourselves to Him to receive the very life of God. He took on death and He became sin for us in exchange of our sin for all men has sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So it became sin for us. He took our sin upon Himself and died and released that life to us. He is the author and source of all life. He brought us over from death to life. He called us out of darkness into His marvelous light. The absence of light is darkness. And now that we have received this light, we are not in darkness. We have this light, which is the light of all men. There is life. You have inherited this very life of God. God has invested His life into all of us. Investment paid by His own blood. He breathed His life into all of us. So we can all be living beings. New creation. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a consecrated nation, a special people for God's own possession so that you may proclaim the excellencies, the wonderful deeds and virtues and perfections of Him who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. That's where God has called you out from to make you His own, a priceless possession, a race, chosen race, a royal priesthood. You have become His possession. You have become a royalty. I want us all to know that we are royalties by the blood of Jesus. No matter what circumstances you may face, challenges, trials, you may face. Know that you come out to be a royal tea, a king, priest. Know that inside of you. John chapter 1. 
verse 1 to 5. A very long verse. Very small. In the beginning, before all time was the word Christ. And the word was with God and the word was God himself. He was continually existing in the beginning, co-eternally with God. All things were made and came into existence through Him. And without Him, not even one thing was made that has come into being. In Him was life and the power to bestow life. And the life was the light of man. The light shines on in the darkness and the darkness did not understand it or overpower it or appropriate or absorb it and is recept unreceptive to it. The light always shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overpower the light. That very light is the very life of Jesus for all of us here. The life of Jesus that we need to live in. This life holds and sustains everything that were ever created. This life of God holds things together, even all of us here. Bring you to the next verse, Colossians 1, 16 to 17. For by Him all things were created in heaven and on earth, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created and exist through Him that is by His activity and for Him. And He Himself existed and is before all things and in Him all things hold together. He is the controlling, cohesive force of the universe. Know that God holds and sustains all things together. He even sustains your very life. This is why we all need to understand and open up our hearts too. You have a God that's holding all things together in your life. So in any situation, know that God is there for you. When you open up your hearts to Him, you receive Him. He's become the light in the very darkness that you face. The very intention of God is for you to live in Him, to move in Him, to have your being in Him. This is one of the verse that I always you use. In Him, we live, we move, and we have our being. We are not to live apart from Him. We are to live in Him. When you live apart from Him, nothing works. You need to know that you are living in Him. You're appropriating His life in you. Galatians 2, uh, 20. For I have been crucified with Christ. That is in Him, I've shared His crucifixion. It's no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Now talking about this life again. The life that I now live in the body, I live by faith. By adhering to, relying on, and complete trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself up for me. So it's no longer I who live, but Christ in me. Let us be reminded 
of this life is no longer living apart from Him. It is Christ living in us. And it's our connection to God that everything happens. John 10.10 10. The thief comes only in order to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that you may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. This is the life of God that God intends for us to live in. The abundance, the fullness of His life. He came to give this life to us, the very God kind of life. This is the life that has defeated the grave, has conquered over death. This life is an offer of hope to all of us. A hope that is constant, that is expecting good. This is the kind of hope that we have. This is the life that releases the glory. This life carries weight and is substance to all of us. May Christ be revealed in us and to us. Not only to us, but revealed in us all. This life carries a voice. It has the voice of victory. It has the voice of purpose. It has the voice of destiny. It is the riches of life. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18 to 21. I think Benny have used this earlier, right? Yeah. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of His calling, what are the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints. And what is the exceeding greatness of His power towards us who believe you possess a power according to the working of His mighty power which has worked in Christ when He raised Him from the dead and seated Him at His right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion. And every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. This is our possession. This is the mighty power who raised Jesus from the dead, living in us. Can you ever imagine that is such power? living inside us. So how much we know it depends on how much, as I say, you receive and you conceive it in your spirit. I can read this over and over. You know? Whether you receive it inside your spirit. Everyone could read this even a non-believer could read. I want to remind you of the love of God for each one of us here. The life which He has released to all of us so that you can possess this kind of life. 
so that in any situation that you may face while in your journey on earth in this life, you know you have the God kind of life, the very nature of God. Very nature of God. This glory of life can shift situations, can shift atmosphere. It gives you the ability and the grace of God. It gives you joy, it gives you rest, it gives you strength, it gives you peace. This is what God has invested Himself into you. The peace that surpasses all understanding shall guard your heart and mind in Christ. This is life. So if you face any situation, any trials, release that life. Begin to release that life into that very situation. Know that you are seated with Him in the heavenly places that you are the kings and the priests and the child of God. Keep speaking and releasing life to situations. Begin to draw from that very life, the living water. John 7, verse 38. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. To those of you who believe, are you a believer? I hope all of us are believers here. To those that have not believed, I hope one day they will come to believe in the salvation of God to bring you back to Him so that you can experience the very life of God. The Bible says, He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart for those that believe will flow rivers of living water. There's an ever-living, everlasting living water flowing. It is eternal. We do not need to wait for us to return to the Lord when we pass this earth. But right now where you are, you are in connection with the Lord. You are already seated with Him. You are already possessing eternal life. There is a life in you living. So that's why we do not die. We only pass on. We do not die. We sleep, we pass on. That's who we really are. We possess life. Only God has the power to give life for those that believe Him. You have the right as a child of God to live the very life of God. Living water. So we need to have the right mindset, the right focus. We need to shift our focus. We need to set our focus right because this is very crucial because when the rubber hits the road, you will find things around you disturbing you. That's where you need to know who you belong to. Where are you belong to? You are sons and daughters of the Most High God. Let me remind you again and those that are hearing. You are the possession of God. 
begin to praise Him, begin to thank Him for all that He has done. Really begin to thank Him for all that He has done to bring you back to Him in order for you to lift up that life in Him, not apart from Him. For apart from Him, you can do nothing, which means you achieve nothing of significance, but in Him. So this morning, I want all of us to give our hearts to Him. To give our focus right back to Him. Because of as mean as doing ministry or being a minister, it is to minister life. It is to build and to bring a person up to where he should be. This should be the ministry of the fivefold, the ministry of any apostolic or prophetic ministry. It is to build, equip you so that you can live in the very purpose which God has called over all of us. Let's just fix our eyes on Jesus. May the eyes of our hearts be enlightened this morning to the richness and the hope of His calling, calling out all of us from darkness into His marvelous light, that we do not need to live in darkness, to stay in darkness, Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, we honor you. We honor your life. We celebrate your life. That life, that resurrection life which raised you from the dead is also with us, seated us all of us here in the right hand of the Father, giving us all authority. Thank you, Jesus, that all authority has been given to us. I want to invite you to stand if you may. If you may not, you can just sit on where you are. The very power that raised Jesus is also living in us. It's an ever-living, lasting life. Lives in me. The very same power lives in us. Lives in me, lives in me. I want us all to concentrate. Conquer the great lives in me, lives in me. Same power that conquered the great lives in us. Lives in me. Conquer the brain. Lives in me. Lives in me. Your love. 
and rescue the earth lives in me lives in me Lives in me, Lord, oh, I express to the earth. Lives in me, lives in me. It lives in me, it lives in us. We honor the light. We celebrate the life. This morning we celebrate the life. The life, the very life of God. Reminded, Lord, of your work on the cross for each one of us. That you have conquered over death. Over grave. Thank you, Lord, for that light that shines in all of us. That we have the ability and the grace of you to overcome in any situation. Father, we bless you. Oh, we bless you. Jesus, thank you, Lord, for your life that's living in us, moving in us. Lord, in you we live, we move, and we have our being. In any situation or trials or circumstances that we may face, Lord, we know that we have a God that conquers it all. We know, Lord, your life is above it all. And we need to release that life into that very situation. There is glory in that life. We want to release that glory of life. Oh, Jesus. Shakaba. Sharabababa. Just lift up your voice. So, if you are facing with situations, Speak life. Know that you are called out. Know that you are royalty. Know that you are a son and a daughter of God. Begin to release life in that situation. Oh, we release, Lord, life. Release life over all darkness. Sharama, Sharama, Shakaba, Shakaba, Shakaba. If you need strength this morning, let that strength be your portion. Whoever you are, if you need strength to go through life, begin to receive that very strength. There are people here that need strength. There are people here that need strength. Even strength to work. You need the strength of God. I begin to release that life into you. Begin to even release that life into you. Jesus, thank you for your life. Thank you for that life. Thank you for the God kind of life. Thank you, Lord, for that life that breaks liberty. Thank you, Lord, for that life that breaks yokes. Thank you, Lord, for that life that breaks chains. Thank you, Lord, for that life that changes circumstances. Thank you, Lord, for that life that reverse, reverses every situation. Thank you, Lord, for that life that speaks even to every mindset here. Father, may that mind be subjected to the very life of God. I speak the life of God into every mind, into every situation right now. In Jesus' name, 
I release the very life of God into your situation. I release the strength of God into your life. Into your life. May the Spirit of God touch you right now. May the Spirit of God be a living water flowing right now to you. Jesus, I bless you. Jesus, I bless you. Jesus, you are our strength. You are our fortress. You are our deliverer. You are our great and mighty one. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. There is no one like you. No one like you. We are meant to be connected to you. Living a life in you. May that life be our experience. May the very nature of God be our experience. May the glory of life be your portion. Shakaba, 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 Shakaba. God is releasing strength. This is what I've received even for the past days. Those that need strength. Those that need strength. Right now, I do not know who you are. Begin to receive strength. As much as you receive and conceive, it will be your experience. Glory flow. The glory of life flow. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Hey, mashpeka make baba. Show makiaba. She makiaba. She ka makiaba. Yara spere kere magyala kiara maso. Reka baspere yande reke bara baba. Shabariya kababa. There is a fire, even a fire to protect you. There is a fire, even a fire to protect you that will burn off the schemes of any wickedness around your life. There is a fire that is burning, that will burn off, that will also protect you. That will also protect you in the days to come. There is a protection of the Lord in the fire. In the fire. In the fire. In the fire, you also find life. You also find life. Oh, Jesus. Maya kia makia makia. Oh, shakaba kia makia. Reka mase. Rokobo se. Rika mase. Yaraba baba baba. Remember, remember what has been spoken this morning. Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, that you are a portion. Thank you, thank you, that you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. Thank you, thank you. We seek the life, the very life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lifting us, raising us to where we should be. To where we should be. Thank you, Jesus, for the glory of your life that raised us to sit with you in the high places. Hello, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shaka, ma, 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 ma. Shikaba, let's celebrate the life. Let's rejoice. Hey, Shakaba. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, ma, 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 ma. She be, 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 be. Hey, ma, 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 ma. Yeah, liberty, liberty. Yes, liberty, liberty. Let's Lord, liberty, freedom in you. Your love Oh, lives in us He lives in us He lives in us He lives in us Lord, in you we live we move and we have our being. Receive the life. Release the life. Praise Jesus. Receive and release. God called you to live Above your circumstance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the living water flowing. Brashpe karamashpe, yarashpe riyakaba, shpriyakaba, yarashpe riyakaba. Shaka, just enjoy the communion with the Lord. Just commune. Just connect yourself to life. Shakaba, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, this morning, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this morning, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this year, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we are not alone. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you.